events down and two winners from North America as we have four events to go here in the Marble Fubica Quadrilla Marble Run Tournament presented by Hoppe Toys. Glad to be here. I'm Keanu Bittersicki as we begin event number three. We're going to see maybe if some of our other continents can get into the winner's column and the top of the podium after Mexico and the United States get wins in each of the first two events of this six-part tournament. However, at the top of the leaderboards, it is Portugal with two silvers. They are up by 10 points on Mexico. Canada in third, Argentina fourth, and the U.S. after a win in event number one, finishing 15th last time. They have dropped to fifth in the overall standings. You have a look at our tall course here. As we get ready for event number three, it is Quadrilla Basketball. Glad to have Hoppe Toys on board here for today's event. Hope that you made your picks in the Hoppe Quadrilla app for today's winner as you have a look at our bracket for this event. Same as it has been throughout. As we have Group A, Brazil, Mexico, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. We're going to race down this course. You can end up with either two points, three points, or no points, depending on which basket your marble goes through. So what you're doing right now, you're racing to be the first one down, have the opportunity to maybe win a time tiebreaker. As the first two come through, that's two points for the United Kingdom, three points for Brazil, two points for Mexico, and the Netherlands don't score. We'll have a look at the replay. The tiebreaker there from the two that finished with two points going through the uh, portion of the course there all the way to the right of your screen. The tiebreaker is the time which is going to advance Mexico for us and the United Kingdom. You can see there, the Netherlands unable to score at all. Beg your pardon, move Brazil and the United Kingdom. Me Mexico misses out after they finish later than the UK. So Mexico is done, which means we will not again have a repeat winner. A chance still, depending on what the United States does here in this group round, to potentially have a two-time winner. Indonesia, China, Argentina, Spain all facing off now here for Group B. And right now the leader is China. Now they've been passed by Indonesia. Spain and Argentina rounding out the group. Look like they're all pretty close here. Well run race. Let's see as they get down to the baskets. Who can, who's going to score first and how much will they score? China not going to score. Indonesia not going to score. Three points each for Argentina and Spain and they will advance. Replay here, Indonesia, oh, had one rim out there. Disappointing finish for them, and so no real drama in that one, as only two teams score, and so they will be the two to advance here to the next round. Into the semifinals, Spain and Argentina. Argentina has done pretty well in these first two matchups. These events here haven't been able to grab a... Uh, medal, but they've done well enough to be fourth overall in the standings. Here's Group C, Germany, Switzerland, Portugal, and the United States, two of the powerhouses here, the U.S. and Portugal. They are the point standings leader, the Portuguese are. The United States trying to become the first two-time winner. Right now, they are the slowest of these marbles. First one down is going to be Germany, followed by Switzerland. They have the first chance. Looks like Germany's not going to score. It is Switzerland and Portugal as the U.S. finishes two-tenths of a second behind Portugal. So they will not advance. And your point standings leaders just barely get it done a little bit faster there than the USA. And so they will advance into the semifinals. See how close they were. Oh, man, it was a mistake there by the U.S. They were down first but could not have a clean transfer there. And so instead it's Portugal that will join Switzerland in the semifinals. That is a devastating blow to the U.S. as they will again fail to get out of the group stage for the second straight event after winning event number one. Onto our final group, it's Italy, India, Canada, and France. Canada trying to become the third different country from North America to win in this tournament. No other continent has a win. Right now it's India in the lead and by a pretty good margin, followed by France, then Canada, then Italy. Now France has taken the lead. They make their way down, going for the baskets. Let's see who's going to score. Looks like a score for everybody so far. It's going to come down to a tiebreaker. Canada scores a three. They're in. And in with the fastest time is France. Everybody scores that time. 
can see the balls bouncing around there. Those marbles making their way down there was the fastest score. The three-pointer for Canada gets them in. And India and Italy are out. As you see the semifinals now on your screen, semifinal A and B will begin by telling you who finished 9th through 16th. It's Mexico and then the U.S., so the two winners will finish 9th and 10th based on their scores and then fastest times as well. Going all the way down to 16th as we make our way into the semifinals here. These countries fighting all now for their first win. Portugal is in to the semifinals. Maybe looking this time to be the bride instead of the bridesmaid after winning two consecutive silvers. Good enough to get them into the lead though. Brazil, Canada, France, and the UK all face off here in the first semifinal. Again, you want to be the first one down because it gives you that advantage, but it's not the end of the world if you're not. Right now, France is in the lead, followed by the UK, then Canada, and then a distant fourth is Brazil. All swirling around that final funnel, making their way toward the score. Everybody's going to score. There's going to be three threes. And so the time will determine the UK and Canada as your... Two advancers there. Oh, look at that one. France just sat on the top of the uh, rim there. Had a little help there from Brazil. And so it is the UK and Canada making their way. Interesting there. Brazil actually came out first. And they are done. And so Canada has a chance again to be the next North American country to win. Trying to go three for three. Meanwhile, the United Kingdom back in the final four again. As we make our way down now to semifinal B. It is Portugal, Argentina, Spain, and Switzerland. Portugal and Argentina, two top five teams. They have done well, but right now, Switzerland leading the group down. Followed by Portugal, Argentina, then Spain. Now Argentina has made a pass. Portugal, Portugal excuse me, is in second. Portugal now in the lead. They're going to have the first chance to score. They are going to score. They're going to get three. They're in, as is Argentina. As they get a better time than Spain by six-tenths of a second, Switzerland does not score. Portugal and Argentina continue their domination of this tournament as they are once again through to the final. Ah, you see, just rimming out there for Switzerland. Had a chance but could not get it done. Disappointment there for them. Argentina, they come out first, they are into the final. And some pretty familiar names here in the final. The UK, Canada, Argentina, and Portugal. Where the results fifth through eighth, it's Brazil, France, Spain, and Switzerland who earn 11, 10, 9, and 8 points respectively. And now to the final. For first through fourth, out of the gate first is gonna be Argentina, followed by the UK, then Portugal, and then Canada. Portugal has won second twice. They are the point standings leader. You cannot allow them to win, otherwise they are in the prime driver's seat for the second half of this six-part tournament. Right now they are in the lead. They're gonna have the first chance to score. They're gonna go down. Let's see who's gonna score. Two points for everybody. And so it is Portugal that will get the win based on time. They do it by about three-tenths of a second. Canada takes the silver. But it is Portugal, after two consecutive second place finishes, asserting their absolute dominance on this competition. The UK does not get any point, or does not score any points on this round, so they'll finish fourth. Look how close it is between Portugal and Canada. Oh man, so close for first and second. And then Argentina will take third, fourth place for the UK. And so congratulations to Portugal. They learned from the first two events. And they extend their lead. And they're going to do it by a pretty significant margin. As they win here at the Quadrilla Basketball. There are the official results from this group. Hope you did well by putting your votes in on who you thought was going to win in the Hoppe Quadrilla app. Get it on Google Play and download it on the App Store for your chance to win. As you look at the overall standings, the lead is now extended to 15 points. Portugal over Canada, who has moved into second place. But it is now Portugal's turn.
tournament to lose as we are halfway through. Three events down, three events to go. And the Portuguese with a large lead. There it is, a time of 18.382. Did it by just under three tenths of a second. A little more than six tenths of a second back to third place Argentina as they take bronze here in today's event. Three down, three to go. Portugal has a 15 point lead and a big opportunity for them to get it done and be crowned our champion of the Quadrilla Marble Run Tournament presented by Hoppe Toys right here on Marble Fubica. Until next time, I'm Keanu Bitterzicki and thanks for watching.